let us study about direction cosines okay so here consider three dimensional coordinate axis so that is x axis y axis and z axis with origin o okay along x axis the vector lies is in the form of x i cap along y axis y j cap along z axis z into k cap okay so now let us consider a point p in space so let p be any point in space so since point p is in space the coordinates of point p is in the form of x comma y comma z okay so join op join op so here we are joining from o to p means the arrow is from o to p so clearly we can see that there exists a vector op right so here this vector op makes an angle along x axis b alpha okay so this vector op makes an angle with x axis is alpha okay so same vector op makes an angle on y axis b beta okay so vector op makes an angle with z axis b gamma so here alpha beta gamma are the angles made by the vector op along positive direction of x axis y axis and z axis okay so here let us simply represent this vector op as vector r okay so here we have the vector is vector op let us represent simply as vector r so therefore vector r so that is vector op is equal to see at point p is in the form of x comma y comma z so if we write in the component form of the vector that is in the form of x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap okay so here if we find the magnitude of this vector find the magnitude magnitude of r vector so that is magnitude of vector op is equal to so magnitude of vector x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap is square root of x square plus y square plus z square okay so here direction cosines so the direction cosines means it is nothing but cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma see here cosines cosines means cos rule okay so here cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma are called direction cosines then what is the values of cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma so let us see now so if we draw a perpendicular line from point p so from point p draw the perpendicular line on y axis okay so let us draw the perpendicular line on y axis so here we are getting a right angle triangle so what is the definition of cos so here see here if we are considering the right angle triangle let us take this point as m so here we are getting the triangle right angle triangle o p m okay so what is the angle for this right angle triangle beta because this vector makes on y axis angle is beta so therefore cos beta cos beta is equal to what is the definition of cos adjacent by hypotenuse here adjacent is y j cap by hypotenuse is vector r vector r so here take magnitude on both sides if we take magnitude on both sides so here we get magnitude of cos beta so magnitude of cos beta is cos beta itself there is no changes cos beta equals if we take magnitude for right side so here we get magnitude of y j cap by magnitude of r vector so that is cos beta equals so magnitude of y j cap what is the magnitude of this vector that is root y square so here magnitude of we know that magnitude of this vector is square root of x square plus y square plus z square but here we have only y j cap therefore its magnitude is root y square by magnitude of r vector 
so that is magnitude of our vector so here square root and square gets cancelled we get cos beta equals cos beta value is y by magnitude of r vector y by magnitude of r vector see here i have drawn the perpendicular line on y axis okay on y axis therefore we are getting cos beta is equal to y by magnitude of r vector similarly so similarly if we draw the perpendicular on x axis okay from the same vector if we draw the perpendicular line on x axis then we get so on x axis the angle formed is alpha that is cos alpha is equal to so here on y axis y by so on x axis x by magnitude of r vector so similarly if we draw the perpendicular line from vector op on z axis we get cos gamma because here Uh, from op vector the angle formed on z axis is gamma so therefore cos gamma is equal to z by magnitude of r vector so therefore therefore cos alpha equals x by magnitude of r vector and cos beta is y by magnitude of r vector and cos gamma equals z by magnitude of r vector so this we call it as an direction cosines okay so therefore the direction cosines are cos alpha equals x by magnitude of r vector cos beta equals y by magnitude of r vector and cos gamma cos gamma equals z by magnitude of r vector okay so here the direction cosines is also notated by l m and n that means cos alpha can also be denoted by l cos beta can also be denoted as m and cos gamma can also be denoted as n okay so this is the formulas to find the direction cosines derivation is not very very important but this one is this formula is important okay so here suppose if i take this formulas as equation 1 okay so now squaring and adding this equation 1 okay so if i square and add the equations we get so here squaring we get cos square alpha so first let us add square and add the lhs okay cos square alpha plus second equation is cos square beta plus so third equation is cos square gamma squaring and adding these three equations so that is equal to so right side we get x square by magnitude of r vector whole square plus y square by magnitude of r vector whole square plus z square by magnitude of r vector whole square okay so now take the lcm okay so here magnitude of r vector whole square is the lcm therefore we get the numerator is x square plus y square plus z square okay so here x square plus y square plus z square by magnitude of r vector whole square what is magnitude of r vector see here we have the value magnitude of r vector is square root of x square plus y square plus z square so here we have square that is whole square okay square root and square gets cancelled so therefore here we get therefore cos alpha plus cos b sorry cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma equals equals here we get x square plus y square plus z square by x square plus y square plus z square so that two gets cancelled we get one or or this can also be denoted as so cos alpha can also be denoted as l that is l square plus cos beta is m so m square plus cos gamma is n n square equals one so this is the equation of t direction cosines 
So let us note the important points based on direction cosines. Okay. So firstly, the vector is in the form of r vector is equal to x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. Okay. If the vector is in the form in, is in this form, then the direction cosines are cos alpha equals x by magnitude of r vector. So cos beta y by y by magnitude of r vector and cos gamma equals z by magnitude of r vector okay so second one direction ratios this is the is the is the direction cosines is the direction cosines okay so next one the direction ratios The direction ratios are, see here, if the vector is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap, the direction ratios are x, y and z. Okay, x, y, z values, we call it as an direction ratios. So, next third one, direction cosines equation. Direction cosines equation. What is the direction cosines equation? So that is cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma equals 1. Okay. Or, or the equation is L square plus M square plus N square equals 1. So now let us see problems based on direction cosines okay so first one so first problem find the direction cosines of the vector so given vector is let us take the given vector as vector r or vector a okay so if we take the given vector as vector a then the formula changes x by magnitude of vector a y by magnitude of vector a z by magnitude of vector a or otherwise we can take vector r itself okay like the given vector is vector r equals i cap plus 2 j cap plus 3 k cap. Okay. Then find the magnitude of r vector. Magnitude of r vector is equal to square root of here x value is 1. So 1 square plus y value 2. 2 square plus z is 3. 3 square that is root of 1 square is 1 plus 2 square 4 plus 3 square 9. So here we get the magnitude is root 14. So, therefore, we have to find the direction cosines. Therefore, the direction cosines, the direction cosines of vector r r, vector r r formula is x by magnitude of r vector, y by magnitude of r vector and z by magnitude of r vector okay so now substitute the values so x by what is the value of x here 1 1 by magnitude of r vector is root 14 so y value 2 2 by root 14 and z value is 3 3 by root 14 so this is the direction cosines so next one again find the direction cosines of the vector okay so here let us take the given vector. Let us take the given vector as vector r. So vector r is 3i cap minus 6j cap plus 2k cap. Okay. Find the magnitude of r vector. Magnitude of r vector is equal to square root of x value 3, 3 square plus y value is minus 6 whole square plus z value is 2, 2 square. So that is square root of 3 square 9 plus minus 6 whole square 36 minus 6 whole square so it becomes plus 6 square is 36 plus 2 square is 4 so here we get 36 plus 4 is 40 40 plus 9 49 what is root 49 7 okay therefore magnitude of r vector is 7 so here we have to find the direction cosines so therefore the direction cosines the direction cosines of r vector r, r formula 
x by magnitude of r vector, y by magnitude of r vector and z by magnitude of r vector. So substitute the values now. Here x value is 3, 3 by magnitude of r vector is 7, y value is minus 6 by magnitude of r vector 7, z is 2, 2 by 7. So this is the direction cosines. So next one, if the position vector of the points, so position vector of the points, I have told in the last class, if the problem is containing any points, then we have to convert that points into vector form. So point A is converted into vector OE, point B is converted into vector OB. See here, if the position vectors of the point A and B respectively, that means that two points position vectors are given. So here, given, given. So, vector OA, first point is A, therefore vector OA is first vector, that is I cap plus 2J cap minus 3K cap. So, next point is point B, so position vector of point B is vector OB, so that is also given J cap minus K cap, okay. Find the direction cosines and direction ratios of which vector? of vector AB. Okay, so now we have to find the direction cosines and direction ratios of vector AB. Okay, first let us find vector AB. So, vector AB equals vector AB can be written as, first we have to consider the terminal point. So, vector OB minus vector OA. So, we have to subtract OB with OA. Okay, so here there is no I cap. So, 0 I cap minus I cap is minus I cap. J cap minus 2 J cap minus J cap minus K cap. So, we are subtracting means minus becomes plus. So, minus J cap plus 3 J cap is plus 2 K cap. Okay. So, this is vector AB. Find the magnitude of vector AB now. So, magnitude of vector AB equals square root of x value minus 1 whole square plus y value is again minus 1 whole square plus z value 2 2 square. So, here we get root of minus 1 whole square is 1 plus minus 1 whole square 1 plus 2 square 4. So, magnitude of vector AB is 6. Okay. So, next we have to find the direction cosines first. Okay. Therefore, direction cosines Therefore, direction cosines of vector AB are, vector AB are, formula is x by magnitude of AB vector, y by magnitude of AB vector and z by magnitude of AB vector. So, now substitute the values x by, so x value we have to consider AB vector, okay, here x value is minus 1 by magnitude of AB vector is root 6, y value is minus 1, minus 1 by root 6, z value is 2, 2 by root 6. So, this is the direction cosines, okay. So, next question, direction ratios. So, we have to find direction ratios. Therefore, the direction ratios, the direction ratios of Vector AB R. So, what is the formula to find the direction ratios? X, Y, Z are called direction ratios. So, here we have to find the direction ratios of which vector? Vector AB. So, therefore, the direction ratios are minus 1, minus 1, 2. So, next one, find the direction cosines of the vector. Okay, here we have to find direction cosines. Joining the points A and B directed from A to B, given two points. So, they have given two points in three-dimensional, okay, A and B. They are also given the direction, directed from which to which, A to B. So, we have to join from A to B. Therefore, here we have to take the arrow from A to B. What is the vector here we are getting? Vector AB. So, therefore, now we have to find the direction cosines of vector AB, okay. First, let us convert the given points into vector form. So, here given, 
given point a is given therefore vector oa is equal to i cap plus 2j cap minus 3k cap okay so next point b to the vector form vector ob equals minus i cap minus 2j cap plus k cap okay so first we have to find which vector vector ab so vector ab equals vector ab can be written as vector ob minus vector oa that is vector ob minus vector oa minus i cap minus i cap minus 2 i cap so minus 2 j cap minus 2 j cap minus 4 j cap so we are taking subtraction means the sign changes okay in vector oa plus k cap so minus into minus plus so k cap plus 3 k cap is plus 4 k cap okay then find the magnitude of vector ab magnitude of vector ab equals root of minus 2 whole square plus minus 4 whole square plus 4 square that is square root of minus 2 whole square is 4 plus minus 4 whole square 16 plus 4 square 16 so here we get root 36 root 36 is 6 okay so next is so we have to find the direction cosines therefore the direction cosines the direction cosines of vector ab are so formula becomes x by magnitude of ab vector y by magnitude of ab vector z by magnitude of ab vector see here we have to find the direction cosines of ab vector so consider only ab vector now so here x value is minus 2 by magnitude value is 6 so y value is minus 4 by magnitude is 6 z is 4 4 by again magnitude is 6 further we can simplify so 2 ones are to 3 is a so to 2 is a to 3 is a so to 2 is a to 3 is a therefore the direction cosines are minus 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 so and show that vector i cap plus j cap plus k cap is equally inclined to the axis ox oy and oz so we have to prove that this vector makes an angle same equally inclined means angles are same along x axis y axis and z axis okay so if we consider the direction cosines what is the angle formed by r vector the angle formed by r vectors are alpha beta and gamma right so here we have to prove that so here this vector makes same angle that means same angle means alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma we have to prove this condition okay first let us take the given vector as vector a so vector r okay so let vector r equals i cap plus j cap plus k cap then find the magnitude of r vector magnitude of r vector equals so square root of so x value is 1 y value is 1 z value is 1 therefore we get 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square that is root 3 so let us find the direction cosines of this vector so therefore the direction cosines direction cosines of vector r r so first one cos alpha so what is the formula of cos alpha cos alpha is x by magnitude of r vector so that is here x value is 1 1 by root 3 similarly cos beta cos beta formula is y by magnitude of r vector again y value is 1 1 by root 3 cos gamma cos gamma equals so z by magnitude of r vector so that is equal to z value again 1 1 by root 3 so clearly we have cos alpha equals 1 by root 3 cos beta equals 1 by root 3 and cos gamma equals 1 by root 3 so this implies is it cos alpha equals cos beta equals cos gamma 
since these direction cosines are equal therefore so therefore their angles are always equal that is alpha equals beta equals gamma so we have proved that the vector i cap plus j cap plus k cap is equally inclined so next one is write the direction cosines of x axis we have to write the direction cosines of which axis x axis okay so let us consider the coordinate axis so x axis y axis and z axis okay so they are telling that if a point p is on y x axis on x axis the coordinate is in the form of x comma 0 comma 0 okay so now let us write the vector vector r equals so here this is the vector r vector r equals so vector is in the form of x into i cap if i find the magnitude magnitude of r vector is equal to we get x itself okay so here if we write the direction cosines that is cos alpha is equal to formula is x by magnitude of r vector that is equal to so x by here x value is so here x value is x itself what is the magnitude of vector r x so these two gets cancelled we get 1 cos beta cos beta is equal to y by magnitude of r vector so here there is no y value right so y value is 0 0 by magnitude of r vector is x so 0 by anything is 0 cos gamma cos gamma equals z by magnitude of r vector that is equal to so here z value is also 0 0 by x so 0 by anything is 0 therefore the direction cosines of x axis is Therefore, the direction cosines of x axis are 1 comma 0 comma 0. So, similarly, so if they tell to write the direction cosines of y axis, for y axis, so we get the direction cosines is 0 comma 1 comma 0. So, similarly, so direction cosines of z axis is 0 comma 0 comma 1. Okay.